These are the stories of the Sulphur Bottom Enterprise. You know, I once had a girlfriend with the nickname Sulphur Bottom, which I gave her. She broke up with me soon after. Not a good nickname. Don't insult girls. Mega Man Legends 2 is easily, easily the best Mega Man game ever made. And that kind of hurts my heart to say because I grew up with Mega Man Legends 1. That game is near and dear to my heart, but by all accounts, the sequel is objectively a huge improvement. An improvement from an already amazing classic title. Just the other day, I reviewed Metal Slug, and I talked about how great 2D Metal Slug games are, and then when they made a 3D Metal Slug game, it just didn't work. But for Mega Man, both type of game styles work. A good Mega Man game in 2D works, and then when you make a good Mega Man game in 3D with a big, expansive world to explore, I think it works even better. Mega Man Legends 2 is... An amazing game. I mean, forget about it easily being the best Mega Man game ever made. It could easily be, like, one of the best PlayStation 1 games ever made. It's basically an action-adventure game with a huge world. O almost basically, let's just say it, an open world. And it also has a lot of RPG elements. For example, you can go into stores in the game and purchase upgrades for Mega Man's suit. It could be simple upgrades like upgrading your health, or it could be something where you get a new trinket. A James Bond-type trinket. Something like electric roller skates that make you drive around instead of just running around like a peasant. Like a cyborg peasant. The game also has amazing, and I repeat, amazing graphics. They're colorful, they're happy-go-lucky, but they, technically speaking, they are very advanced. They're very similar to graphics in Mega Man Legends, the first one, but there's just so much more content in this game that the graphics are just more impressive because there's a lot more of them. There's different types of environments because Mega Man is globetrotting, basically. He can go to islands or continents where there is a sunny landscape or a wintry tundra and of course he can go into various dungeons in the game to find scrap metal and treasure. The music that accompanies your gameplay is fantastic as well and the game has a surprisingly good story. I mean it's not an RPG. At the end of the day this is an action adventure game with RPG elements but it has a nice in story that really involves you and kind of gets you hooked. It is a happy-go-lucky story that kids can enjoy, but it's nice for adults as well. It's not like the Teletubbies. It's basically like a sci-fi futuristic version of a really good Zelda game. A fun story pushes you through beautiful, pastoral, yet colorful and cartoony environments as you fight various monsters and just get addicted to the massive world and awesome gameplay. It is basically a sci-fi version of like Majora's Mask or you know name any other big open world or you know big world Zelda game that's 3D. The only real difference is Zelda has more of a fantasy setting. And look, while Mega Man Legends is futuristic sci-fi, it has fantasy elements as well. I guess it's like a PG version of Warhammer. It's Warhammer without the gruesome decapitations. Sometimes in the cutscenes, you also get voice acting in this game, like for important parts of the story. And the voice acting is great. I mean, it's probably the best voice acting I have ever heard in a PlayStation 1 game. I don't even know if any other game is close. Maybe like in Metal Gear Solid, when you're talking to your friends over the radio, uh, that voice acting is pretty good as well, but I, I think it's basically a tie in terms of best voice acting on the PlayStation 1 between Legends 2 and Metal Gear Solid. And of course, Bob Ross's Mario Paint for the PS1 that had really good ASMR. Are you sure you won't change your mind? Are you still determined to go back there? It's too late to turn back now. I've spent my entire life working toward this. I can't turn back. Mr. Werner von Blucher, Mr. Werner von Blucher, please that time already. To Central Hall. The press well, then I'll go on ahead, all right? Mr. Werner von Blucher, Mr. Werner von Blucher.
I mean, look, I grew up with Mega Man Legends 1. I didn't grow up with this game. Me praising this game is not nostalgia. I'm not nostalgic for this at all. I never played this as a kid. This is purely an objective review breaking down the game's many fantastic components. But I still haven't gotten to the best part, the meat and potatoes. The combat is so good in this game. It's action-adventure, so the combat is action-oriented. You lock on to the enemies, and then you avoid them attacking you and try to avoid their projectiles as you continually shoot them. You have this free range of movement when you're attacking the enemies. The controls are incredibly responsive. It's like the polar opposite of Spider-Man 2 Enter Electro. Mega Man moves like a cat in light armor, and Spider-Man in Enter Electro moved like a cat in full plate armor. Both of them moved like cats, just carrying different types of armor. I mean, really, most games come down to what type of armor your cat is gonna wear. If your cat is wearing 40 pounds of steel plate armor, he might be immune to arrows, but that little kitten is gonna fall over every time he takes a step. And really, what are you doing in your life where you had to knight your cat? Why don't you storm the castle yourself? They don't want to storm castles. They don't want to take princesses and trap them in dungeons. They just want to lick themselves and sunbathe. Cats do not want to participate in medieval combat. The combat, and specifically how good the controls are in the combat, it just doesn't feel like a PS1 game. So many PS1 games, most PS1 games, even the good ones, were stiff. The combat was oftentimes not that responsive, and even in, like, action games. And here, it's just almost perfect, especially with this lock-on feature where you can constantly keep an eye on the enemy. If you fight smart, you can avoid getting hit, even by bosses. Of course, sometimes the bosses are very hard, and you will get hit by the harder bosses. But if you're agile, if you're moving around, if you're paying attention to where the enemy is going, if you're lining up your shots with the enemy, you will be an absolute super soldier in this game. If PS1 era third person shooting games handled half as good as Mega Man Legends 2, they would be such better games. Like if Siphon Filter handled like this game, Siphon Filter would be like one of the greatest games of all time. In terms of pure controls and movement, Legends 2 was ahead of its time by at least seven years. And honestly, this doesn't feel like your typical Mega Man game. You know, the 2D Mega Man game where you get to the end of a boss, you take the boss's power, and now you can use the boss's power for the next levels. It's not like that at all. So maybe it's not fair to compare this game to 2D Mega Man games. The reason I really put this game above Mega Man Legends, the first one, is because it's such an improvement. There's more content, there's this whole huge world to explore. Everything has been refined from the combat to the graphics to, to even the things that really have nothing to do with combat like voice acting. I really can't think of like a better action-adventure or third-person shooting game from this particular era of gaming. Like, Blasto. You know, take your average uh, third-person shooter action-adventure type game. Stiff controls, hard to maneuver, you can strafe left and right, but it's still not good enough. So the game is just lacking in almost everything. Take Siphon Filter. Great concept. Great setting. Uh, for the most part, the game is excellent, but still fairly stiff controls, and back then we didn't think of it that way, but when you look at it now and compare it to some of the games right now, it's just lacking in a lot of ways. And then you take Mega Man Legends 2, it just stands above and beyond most games of the same ilk. I mean, it's not even close. That's why I said this game doesn't feel like it's from the same era. Mega Man Legends 2 just doesn't have the same problems and the same quirks as most PlayStation 1 games. This game was just a shining beacon of hope for the future. Okay, well maybe that's going too far, but it was a good game, it was a great game. If Mega Man Legends is a nostalgic game from your childhood, check this game out. It's gonna be literally like 
reliving your childhood. Clear your calendar for a couple of days, because this game will absolutely steal your life. It gets an official Stan Birdman rating of a 9.3 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more classic game reviews. Goodbye, my friends.